Well, our first or next big thing just continues to be the dry air that just makes it feel so comfortable to be outside. I hope you got out there and enjoyed yesterday, but if you weren't able to do it yesterday, hopefully you can do it today and tomorrow as we're going to continue to have this dry, less humid air for a couple more days with dew points down into the 50s. It just felt absolutely amazing, especially yesterday evening to be out there soaking up the nice weather, almost a little fall like feel across the area here the next couple days. And you can really see that as we're going to be down into the comfy range as far as dew points are concerned for our Thursday and Friday. But you see that big spike in the dew points as the humidity will be moving back in this week and especially on Saturday and into Sunday. And then it looks like it stays on the higher side heading into next week as we'll be in the humid to very humid category in the upper 60s to low 70s. So yes, enjoy it while it lasts because it does look like it's returning to more August like conditions by the time we get towards next week. Live look at Edisto Beach. You can see we got the clouds offshore, but clear skies up above above that sun trying to come up. But as we get later and later here into fall, it takes longer and longer for that sun to come up. So 75 degrees, a little bit of a northeast breeze out there. And over the next 12 hours, we should see our temperatures go from those 60s into the low 70s by 10 o'clock, mid 70s at lunchtime. And then as mentioned, just the low 80s for afternoon highs. We're going to be coming in about almost 10 degrees below average for this time of year this afternoon. So that shows you just how comfortable it's going to feel. And then tonight, look at this. 61 degrees for an overnight low in Columbia but many communities in the Midlands could be dropping into the upper 50s. So yes, feeling like fall as we wrap up this work week and head into the start of the week. And the reason for the nice weather, high pressure coming down from Canada is just giving us this northerly breeze, pushing in those cooler and drier conditions. So mostly sunny, less humid, low 80s for afternoon highs. And this high is going to be sticking with us, which is why we're not really seeing much change in the forecast, other than the fact that we turn a little bit more easterly, pushing a few more clouds across the region for our Friday and then the clouds and a little bit more humidity start to build in with a real good easterly push off the Atlantic, making it feel like the mid 80s for our Saturday. So future cast shows Another bright sunny day for our Thursday. Touch of a breeze out of the east northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then as we get into our Friday, here comes that cloud cover kind of working in. But this is going to be mainly high level clouds. So still expecting a fair bit of sunshine. Also, you can see those winds starting to get a touch more breezy up to about 20 as far as some of those gusts are concerned. And then we'll keep the clouds into our Saturday with those winds out of the east now over 20 miles per hour. So low 80s for your Thursday and Friday with a little bit more clouds as we get towards the start of the weekend will start to warm up and get more humid mid to upper 80s for your Saturday and Sunday and then 90s make their way in for much of next week. But we continue to stay dry with lots of sunshine. Rain chances really don't get here until next Thursday, Friday and Saturday.